Believe it or not, there's been very little research done on the American alligator. Alligators uh, were an endangered species for many years and uh, due to the uh, appropriate environmental regulations that protected them and the habitat that they depend on, they made a recovery and have over the decades slowly recovered here in Armand Bayou. It's always good to respect them and give them their space because they can be dangerous. If you do use respect and common sense when you're paddling in Armand Bayou, you keep a safe distance, you don't feed alligators. It's a very beautiful experience to be in water that has that complete uh, assembly of all of the animals, including those big apex predators. If you stay out of their way and um, you know you don't harass them or anything like that, then you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Never had an incident with one. And I, I come out here a lot, I, I, probably twice a week. Alligators every summer build a nest on the high, dry land. There's some tracks here on the bank and some claw marks where she's been pulling herself up the bank. Female alligator generally stays very close to it. Uh, that's probably when they're the most dangerous is during the nesting season. Female alligator in the trap. Got to be one we've already caught. I think it is. She had been in the trap before, so this is actually the second time she got trapped. This one had, I guess, knocked the transmitter off. They could be on the brink pretty quickly again if they are not well understood and properly managed. By collecting this data, we can better manage the species, make it easier to make decisions to, to conserve them for future generations. We think all we have to do is recrimp, huh? That's probably all we're gonna have to do, but. So we ought to go ahead and pre-cut our wire links and have all our material ready to go here. Ford is the man that really has the extensive amount of experience handling alligators. Just in this study alone, I have over 200 animals tagged, uh, including the ones with the transmitters. You gotta stay on your toes. You gotta use uh, quick, uh, common judgment, good, good sense, common judgment in the process of it. And, and if you think it's not safe, you just gotta let it all go and try again another day. As soon as she got out of the pipe, nobody on the, the team missed a beat. We were right on her and had her restrained. Somebody hold this rope. It's important to keep calm. Once you start panicking and questioning your, your decisions, that's whenever you can get in trouble. Uh, I have a great amount of respect for what he does because he, uh, he made it look easy today, but that's because Cord has really handled a lot of alligators through the process of this study. We've tagged her with a radio telemetry transmitter. Which is, allows us to actually track the movement of the animal. So it lets us establish the range of where they're going and how they're behaving. It doesn't hurt. It's attached through, uh, to the scutes on the back of her neck, um, which is made out of bone and there's not much feeling in it. And so it's a pretty non-invasive way of tagging them. The data is really critical because we really don't have much of a handle on what alligators are doing here or how many of them that there are here on Ormond Bayou. It's important to, to get in there and do things like that to be able to collect this data. That's the only way you're going to get it uh, is to get down and get dirty. We really don't know exactly how much alligators move around. So uh, it's important information to help us understand the species and to help ensure that we manage the population adequately.